Hi guys. I've stayed past my allotted time. It is sunset right now. And it's dark and spooky and I'm in the forest all alone. And I wanted to show you something. Not so much this field, which will come past, but I was thinking as I was walking through this very romantic scene how spooky it is. You know, these bushes, it's so dim. Looks like the prime scene. Look at those tracks. Look at those tracks, guys. Doesn't it look like you know, this is the prime scene in this field. Isn't that the prime scene to be murdered? You know, to be chased by some crazy guy with a chainsaw or machete or other crazy weapon. You know, isn't this the prime scene to be chased down and hunted? Look at that, more tracks. You can clearly see the tracks right there. But it's so dark and so gloomy and so creepy and it's so lonely out here. This little spot in the forest is so so lonely. All of the cars have gone. And I'm the only person in this forest. And I realized as I was walking, waiting for my ride, um, I'm not staying here out of my own, um, own intent of breaking the rules, of course not, no. Uh, I'm here because I have no choice, I have to wait for my ride. So while I was ra waiting for my ride, I realized that this is a creepy scene, isn't it? It's such a creepy scene. And I see no animals. Actually, I think I take that back. There's some sort of animal back there. Oh, it's a deer. He's looking at me. Look at him. He's spying on me. Can you see him? Maybe, maybe not. I think he's right there on the camera. He's spying on me. He must be the murderer, guys. Actually, I probably am the murderer. I've come into his territory. He's not expecting me at this time. He's just staring at me. I'm going to come closer to him because I have to get past. I can't sit here all day, but the two of us are just looking at each other. Wow. Am I the murderer, or is he? Or maybe we're just both being hunted at the moment. His eyes are following me. Wow. Third time in a row, guys. Every time I come here, I come across a deer. But, uh... Seriously. Are we both being hunted right now? dark and gloomy and mysterious and there's the sunset over there the pink sunset so I hope I've kind of set up a scene for you how I'm feeling at the moment now I'm about to get into those dark woods over there it's gonna get even scarier even creepier, even more lonely as I walk into deeply into those those tall trees. And the stuff around me is getting taller and taller. I don't know if you noticed that. 
This is as tall as me right now. The edge of it at least right there. It's as tall as I am. This stuff over here not so much obviously, but this is pretty tall for me. It's, it's about my height. Some of it not so much like this, but it's a creepy scene. I feel like I'm being followed. I feel like I'm being watched. There's a house. Look at that. That I didn't know. And the light is on. I saw it on the way here. I wasn't sure. Looks like a reflective light. It's a brick, brick, brick building. Must be somebody's house. But, uh, what I was saying is that uh, the insert uncertainty of this could be quite frightening. A pack of wolves could come out and feast on my flesh, or a pack of coyotes, angry, ravenous coyotes, could come out to feast on my flesh. A wild dog with rabies could come out of these woods, snarling and foaming at the mouth, running straight at me. It could be scary. It could be very scary. Very, very scary. Again, a person could be following me right now, and I wouldn't know what I... I could be watched. Could be being... be being? Whatever. As I'm just walking through this forest, and it's dark and gloomy and creepy, Again, anybody could be watching me. I mean, anybody could be following me, laughing at me. They could be in the trees, they could be in the brush, they could be anywhere. And they could be following me, and watching as I walk each step, each and every step. They could think I'm up to no good, maybe. Maybe they're not bad guys, maybe they're the good guys. Maybe they're just trying to save the day, you know, maybe officer friendly. Maybe. Or maybe they could be a murderer, like I said. Notice that I've tried to play up the scene a bit. I've tried to scare you, spook you out. The point of this video is to show you that this is just a forest. That's all it is. It's a quiet forest. And it's a little dark, sure, but the sun isn't fully down yet. It hasn't turned completely tonight. But we still perceive it as something completely different than what it is. This is just a lonely forest. A quiet, lonely forest. And although there could be bad things in the woods and, you know, whatever, it's just a lonely forest. That's all it is. Nothing that special. So, as I wait for my ride, which I believe is almost here, or it could be here, I don't know, just realize that, ooh, I saw lightning. A lightning that way, I believe. I might have misseen that. Maybe it was a firefly. <laughs> but the point is, this is just a forest. That's all it is. It's just a forest. And we trick ourselves. We trick ourselves into thinking that this is somewhere sort of spooky or mysterious. When in actuality, it's just a forest. It's just a bunch of trees with some animals and it's a little dark that's all it is there's nothing spooky about this not by itself but if you play it up in your mind like that it makes it much more spooky also another thing I wanted to point out by making this video is to show you how vivid um, our imagination can be how 
mysterious the imagination and the brain particularly is because we are very mysterious very mysterious we make up things like that I, I made up a whole scenario where I was being followed and watched by some mysterious little stranger off in the woods in a brush and you know he wanted to eat me or something um, I played it up and had some fun with it but it had to come from somewhere you know that imagination had to come from somewhere how how did I associate just some trees and darkness with a horror movie, you know? How did I do that? Now, yeah, you could say, oh, there's plenty of horror movies where we're in the woods and, you know, people are being hunted and all the things I said, but I haven't really watched many horror movies. I've watched a couple, but not many. And I for sure have not seen any with bad guys in the woods. I'm not a very huge horror movie fan. But, uh, the bugs are insane. I just thought, uh, this little experiment of walking into the woods like this was quite interesting. Wanted to show you something a little different, so. I'll see you guys later. Don't get eaten by, uh, cannibals in the woods. Or zombies or wild coyotes or whatever I talked about. Um... Stay safe, people. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Peace.